very few keys and octaves and whatever else. <coughs> I guess it could be a one octave piano. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess. One octave. I don't know what this key would be doing. It's not something, right? It was a piano. Um, anyway. Um, but no, this is called a braille note, and it's like a braille computer, basically. Can I use a regular computer? Yes. Look. This is a MacBook Pro. I'm using an iPad. This is an iMac. Here's my keyboard. I don't know if you can see my screen. Here's an email. Um, not speaking correctly. And I'll show you screeners and how to use it. Voice of the wrong night out. I'll use my computer later, but Tim Burt, Rachel in ninety. This is my Twitter timeline. Casey Tweet, Rachel in Rachel in ninety. Tim Burt. Right, you can see it. Anyway, Jesus. so yeah, I can type on a keyboard, but this is easier. And this, you can open documents, edit them, write in them. I write papers, I can read books, I can... I worked on my school newspaper in high school, and I took this around and I interviewed people and I write it down. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little slower out of practice. Maybe... I never wrote that fast and whatever, and I'm less satisfied now. I gave it a practice try, I guess. I feel bad because it was a hoax. I thought I got on a paper, but that never happened. And anyway, kind of did half the work for it. And now I have to somehow tell the guy at some point. Well, I don't think your art the, the article I have about you, or thought about you know publishing, it's not going to be published. And when I come up with something on a paper, maybe it'll be too late. But okay, anyway. So I might end up recording it somewhere else. But what I used to do, the point was take this out. And I write everything down, type it in a Word document, like, you know, it has word processing, you open up and, you know, how you'd write in pages or Word, you write everything down and then it works like that. You can edit, you can look, you can read it back by scrolling up and down and like that. This is just a menu, but you can scroll up and down for a document, right? And it even uses... this. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody recognizes. That little thing. This is a secure digital card or SD card or some people know it as, oh the camera card. So back here, this device has ports. This is the three USB ports. This is the ST card slot. This is where you can plug a screen in. And then this is an Ethernet cord. 
and over on this side it has a host USB port and it has regular earphone jacks and stuff like that so here SD card Wait, how did I get into book here? I want to read something, but I'll open it in the word processor. I could do it in the book reader because I'm actually reading a book. But I don't think it actually saves my position. So I'll read you a little bit of it. I'll read on my left hand this time. Okay. Hannah was evidently fond of talking. While I picked the fruit and she made the paste for the pies, she proceeded to give me sundry details about her deceased master and mistress and the childer, as she called the young people. Old Mr. Rivers, she said, was a plain man enough, but a gentleman and of as ancient a family as could be found. Marsh End had belonged to the rivers ever since it was a house, and it was, she affirmed, a boon two hundred years old, for all it looked but a small, humble place, not to compare with Mr. Oliver's Grand Hall down in Moortown Vale. But she could remember Bill Oliver's father, a journeyman, needlemaker, and that rivers were gentry in the old days. Oh, the Henry's as nobody might see by looking into the registers in Moortown Church Vestry. Still, she allowed the old maester was like other folk, not Mitch out of that common way, stark mad, oh, shooting and farming and sitch like. The mistress was different. She was a great reader and studied a deal, and the barns had taken after her. There was nothing like them in those parts, nor ever had been they had liked learning all three almost from the time they could speak, and they had always been of a make of their own. Mr. St. John, when he grew up, would go to college and be a parson, and the girls as soon as they left school, would seek places as governesses, for they had told their father had some years ago lost a great deal of money 
by a man he had trusted turning bankrupt, and as he was now not rich enough to give them fortunes, they must provide for themselves. They had lived very little at home for a long while, and were only come now to stay a few weeks on account of their father's death, but they did so like Marsh and, and Morton and all the moors and hills about. They had been in London and many other grand towns, but they always said there was no place like home. And then they were so agreeable with each other, never felt out nor freaked. She did not know where there was such a family for being united. Anyway, that's a little bit of Jane Eyre. And I'm not, like, deliberately pronouncing it. I'm actually trying to pronounce it as she would have it because um, this part is like a servant, you know, like Cockney English. So she writes it that way. And you have weird stuff like old was owed, like, or old, you know, like O W D instead of O L D, like old. Um, so that's the bro note, <coughs> and so I will proceed to let's see. Show you my drawer. Over here. The braille display goes in here. This is the case for the little screen, not the thing I read off of the screen I showed you. Let's see. So. <coughs> are almost like regular stickers, but they're for labeling stuff. I'll do a video on labeling. And if you notice, we'll walk outside for a moment. Demo a couple. Never mind. We'll demo them in here. This. The microwave has this on it and then there's a dot here and a little dot there square some of those squares too but you can put them on microwaves and ovens here's the toaster oven 